All right, time to check out the latest H3 VR update today. It's a recap of all the meat miss guns from 11 to what's the day? 19? Today is the uh, 19th, right? Oh no, today's the 18th. We still got a while to go before we get to the 19th. Let me actually just check the date here. Yeah, today's the 18th. All right, so get a recap of days 11. Was it 11 or 12? Uh, day 12 to 18, right? I think. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways. Uh, yeah, I'm not using the, uh, Sosig body today because I often forget to turn that off. Whatever. All right, so let's actually, uh, let's go and see if we can find the first gun, which was day 12? Wait, wait. Let's see. 14, 15, 16, 17, yeah, so day 12, so let's see, uh, bolt action, I think it might be here, oh no, it's, uh, anti-material, nope, no, really, huh, wait, I'm gonna look for it, hold on guys, I should have maybe, uh, done this before I, uh, uh, went into this maybe I should start over <laughs> and actually try to find this uh, battle rifle hold on huh I look for it reach loading no bolt action should be a bolt action right hold on guys Hmm, might have to start this video over. No, go back, please. Anti-material. Oh, I'm so dumb. It's right there. All right, so day 12's gun is the Tank Gewehr. Or Tank Gewehr, if you're American. If you're American. Like me. <laughs> well, okay, whatever. Let's not get into that. So, basically, it's a uh, anti-material... Uh, whatever thing this was <laughs> it's pretty big and it hits pretty hard so that's a pretty big hole but let's actually uh, zoom this out to 30 meters oh we can actually zero this thing oh nice all right uh, yep, this is the uh, Tank of Air, the most, uh, well, not most requested, but one of the requested weapons that a lot of people want in the game. Wanted. Past tense, because now it's in the game. Huh, got uh, eight. Not bad, not bad. But, uh, yeah, there's not much to say about it. It's big, it's loud, it's powerful, and it's got a bipod. Stick that onto a surface, and you can use it as a bipod. But it is pretty cool. Oh, bullseye. That was... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bring this back. Let's bring this back. Let's see where that shot landed. I got a bullseye. Yep, I got a bullseye. That was the eight... That was the 10 ring. <laughs> wow, okay. Of course, you can quick bolt it. Uh, uh, quick bolt swipe, which is, uh, again, not uh, not something you can regularly do with, uh, with things. Wait a minute. Where did I shoot that? Huh, that's weird. Oh, there, I did. Okay, that was my fourth shot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Uh, with the quick bolt swipe, you can do that now for anti-material rifles. Some people say it's a little unfair, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not dis- I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna disagree with Anton. It's his game. He wants to do that. So be it. But, uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I want to see 
Or actually, I want to hear what this thing sounds like. I need to find the center of my play space. I'm drifting all over the place. I want to hear what this thing sounds like with a suppressor. So let's try to find the biggest suppressor we can get. Uh, Chungus? No, no. That's it's thick, but it's not. It's not big. I want. I want big. I want uh, long. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Long suppressor. Mac 10. The Uzi, uh, but I will get the SR3M because this is the longest. I think. Oh man, this is uh, this is actually pretty too. It's actually too long. Hold on. This will take a bit of work here. Let's just grab that, put that on the table. Come on, like that, and let's stick a suppress. Oh yes, it does work. So that means attachments will work, specifically the rail adapter. So you can put a scope on this thing if you so choose. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. This thing is so large that I have to put this on the table. Uh, let's do a tall rail extender. That one right there. Let's get the suppressor. Hopefully it doesn't clip into the garbage can. Go and then let's... Uh, uh, let's do some rail extender glitch guns here. Okay, let's put this one. And we're going to put one underneath. Come on. No, I want to go underneath. There we go. That's not going to look pretty. But we are going to make this as long as possible so we can actually put the scope on. Get this. Come on, go under. There we go. That's good. Good stuff. I think that's good enough. Let's put a uh, scope on this thing. Uh, magnifier scope. Let's put the... Uh, hmm. Where is this? Not the 12 by 60. Let's go with the... 8 by 32. I think that would be a good scope. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this gun is so large. I need a uh, options panel here. Okay, let's actually reset the target into something a little different. Let's lower this. Uh, yeah, that's good. All right, 99 and 99 and 99 meters, whatever. Okay. Since this uh, scope isn't clipping into my face, uh, I think that's a good distance for it. Ooh, there we go. Headshot. Let's add a bullet into the chamber. Whew. All right. Did I get it? I got a three, huh? That's weird. What did I hit? Oh, on the B, huh? A little low. Uh, I need to aim a little higher. God, this is not... Oh, that's weird. Why did that jump out? Let me just do... Okay, where is it? Where is it? There it is. I see it. I was aiming for that, so we're aiming for the uh, little high like this. Huh. That's weird. Where did that shot go? I want to check. Oh, just a little too high, huh? Five. Actually, I actually want to see where that shot landed. Okay, yeah, five. A the A box is uh, five alpha. But yeah, there's your uh, tank gewehr. I don't know if I want to say this in the. Uh... <laughs> Maybe I should. I'll put this. Oh, that's my. That's a box on the floor. Let me just uh, put this on the uh, thing here. Oh, you know what? Oh goodness. Oh, just freaking out. 
Let me stick a uh, round in there. <sighs> Just need it. <laughs> all right. No, all no alternate uh, ammunition, which is fine. That's cool. Now let's just save this. All right. Uh, I need to get rid of this, so. Let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. So that was day 12. Now we're moving on to day 13. Uh, this is... Where is it? Is it reach loading? No. Bolt action? Oh, here it is. Okay, cool. So the day 13, the well rod, Mark... 2A should spawn with the uh, main gun and let's spawn a magazine as well and uh, it comes with the uh, these baffles with the wipes which is uh, pretty cool but let's just put that oh spawn lockable nice but yeah so this is the well rod it's the absolute quietest gun at least for the first shot after maybe one or two shots, it's kind of loud. So, well, loud is in not like ear deafeningly loud, but uh, but uh, still loud enough that uh, people think, oh, you know, the suppressor is gonna movie silent. That's not gonna happen. But uh, let's reset this. Let's actually go three meters. And uh, yeah, basically. Let's see how quiet this is without the wind noise and, uh, you know, environmental noise of a uh, winter wasteland. Did you hear that? It sounds like we had a malfunction, but we didn't because it was so quiet. Okay, now it's starting to get loud. You can hear a little, uh, little stuff. Helps if I didn't talk too much, but okay, here we go. Third shot. Yep, you're starting to hear it. Fourth shot. This is the fifth one. I've lost count of shots. But I'm out of ammo anyway, so. So yeah, basically you uh, shoot the gun, it breaks the seal on these baffles. And, uh... Basically, it turns into a normal suppressor. That's loud. <laughs> That's louder than the actual shot. But we'll just replace it with a new one, which we can spawn lock now since they're in the item spawner. Of course, don't tip. Actually, I want to know if you can shoot the, uh, the gun without the cap. I want to know what happens. Let's see. Let's do a little experiment here. Remember, cap is off. it actually worked also it didn't go through the baffle wait hold on did I actually hit the target hold on hold on let me try that again let's uh begin a new set let's clear the target here we did hit it but uh the baffle kind of uh yeah I don't think the baffles did anything the, the wipes and the baffles. I think it just pushed out the baffles. That's... Huh. Uh, looking down the barrel of a gun. Not a good idea. But... Uh, hold on. But you can fire this without the baffles. Uh, and wipes. And it's pretty loud. Like a gun should sound. Wait, hold on. Oh, am I out? I'm out. Let's drop that. But it's better if you put the baffles on. Again, let's uh, <clears throat> hear how it sounds. Whisper quiet. Mo movie, movie quiet. It's a movie suppressor. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me just reset the target. We're going for a headshot this time. It's just a little... That's it. I don't know if you heard that, but... 
But it starts getting louder. Oh, am I out? I'm out. But yeah, there you go. Pretty cool. I don't think you can, uh, I don't think you can add anything. You know what? Let's just replace the baffle here. Uh, the wipes. Fresh new wipes. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, do some stuff with this. I don't think you can because of the whole this right here. This thing. Go to attachment, mold device. Hey, let's put a suppressor on a suppressor. Why not? Nope, you can't do that. Which is uh, kind of a shame, but I mean, it's understandable. This this probably took some, some I don't know, some insane coding to do. I'm not a coder. But, yeah, you can't do that. Kind of gives you a little, it kind of makes you wish that the, the VP9, the more modern day by uh, Bruger and Tomet, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, uh, is added in the game someday. Because that one has like, uh, at least that one has uh, that, that ring you can attach that has the um, Picatinny mounts. But uh, this is still pretty good, especially for a covert weapon. You don't want anybody to hear. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Let's fire it off. Hold on. Just wait. Listen. Listen close. Oh, wait. No, actually, I want to shoot downrange. Oh, you can't hear anything. That is so good. Love it. But there you go. That's the uh, Mark II A well rod. Pretty cool. Ooh. Let's throw all these away. And that was day thirteen, right? I think I might. Have, wait, wait, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, so that was day thirteen. Day fourteen is of. Fan favorite, most often requested, I think, at least, from what I've seen. And this is the American 180. Look at this bad boy. I forgot how much uh, was in the magazine. I think it was 167? I think. 22 LR. So let's begin a new set here. Oh, we can finally spawn lock the mags. Thank goodness. Only has two, two options on the fire selector, safe and fire. It's fully automatic. That virtual, uh, the virtual stock kind of moves the gun around when you're looking, so. But we can do some more shooting with this. Uh, let's stick another drum on top there. Let's actually look at it from the side. Just a rain of bullets. A swarm of bees, as people have described it. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, again, one of the uh, more requested guns uh, in HVVR. The American 180. And, uh, yeah. Can't adjust the sights, I don't think. Nope. Just looking for uh, more things to interact with. But that's okay, you know? Doesn't need to be that interactive. Just needs to be pretty cool to shoot. And it is pretty cool to shoot, at least uh, in this game. <laughs> but let's add, let's see if we can add some stuff to the uh, gun here. Let's go with a muzzle device. Let's go with a um, Maxim silencer. Short uh, B here. There we go. Get it? B? <laughs> uh, making puns. There we go. B. Short B. And, uh... Oh, you know what? I can't... Well... Hold on. I'm going to have to take off the Maxim silencer. And add a rail adapter. Just do a barrel extender. Like this. Pop that on. Stick this on. Ah... Eh. Yeah, that's fine. We'll put it like that. All right, and then we'll do a extender. Just put an extender here. 
just go through that and let's add a reflex sight. Let's do the uh, PK23. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at this monstrosity. Oh, this thing's so hard to reload. Hold on, there we go. Uh, I want to cut this target in half. I don't think I'll be able to because I put it on strong, so... We'll do one more magazine. Yeah, it's uh, a little too strong. I set it to weak, then maybe. But we don't have time for that right now. There you go, the American 180. All right, you know what? Mm, maybe. If I go a little closer. No, 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 no. That's... Yeah. I don't think that's going to work right now. Unless I take a lot of time to cut this thing in half. It's not going to happen. Well, you know what? One, one more mag. Let's see if it'll work. Ah, mm, no. But there you go. The American 180. Swarm of bees. Pretty cool. All right. Moving on to day, let's see, 12, 13, 14, 15? 15, right? All right. Let's go to shotgun, magazine fed. Uh, here it is, the Mark 12. It's just from Turkey. Turkish. All right. All right, two position, again, selector, fire selector for safe and fire. Uh, you got two ki kinds of magazine, five rounds. And then you got ten rounds. And let's put a sight on this thing. Just because. It's a little too... Uh, right there. That's good. Oh, you know what? Let's also grab a suppressor. What should I use? Uh, hmm. Let's go with a PP200. 2000, sorry, 200. All right, maybe this will cut down the target. But yeah, this is a, this is a mag-fed automatic, or sorry, semi-automatic shotgun from Turkey. AR-15 pattern, so, you know, it's a lot easier to use. And uh, I think Anton fixed the issue with the, uh, the bolt. Right? So, we'll see that when we try it out. Let's go with the uh, five-round mag here. And we're already on fire, so... Okay. Take out the mag. Let's try the ten-round mag. Bolt... All right, cool. Yeah, Anton fixed that issue. Pretty cool. But you can also press up on the touchpad to release the bolt, so. Well, we got some kind of damage there. Let's actually put the suppressor on. Oh my goodness. We got that. Hey, look at that thing. Just scaled up. Oh, well, we cut down the target. Ten rounds leaves a nice, nice-sized hole in the target. But there you go, the Mark 12. Pretty cool. 
All right, we'll just use up this five round mag. Of course, it's got rails on the top and sides. No rails at the bottom, though. But more inventive people have figured out ways to put rails on there. So you can put a bipod. Or you could use the bipod attachment. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good, pretty good uh, semi-automatic mag-fed shotgun for you. Just clean this up because it's slowing things down. Reset the target. All right, that was 15. <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm losing count here. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, we're going to 16 now, which is uh, this this weird monstrosity of a weapon. Well, I don't want to say monstrosity. It's it's beautiful in its own right, right? <laughs> Uh, let's see. Let's uh, try to find it here. I think it might. I might be in the wrong category. Yeah, I think it might be. Here it is, the EM2. The Brits just love their unique firearm designs. I can't blame them. You know, you just want to make something different. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the EM2. And uh, this one has uh, different ammo types as well. Uh, the I think the shotgun did 38 special is obviously 22, but this one has its uh, unique ammo type 280 British, and it's got different ammo types. So you can uh, change this to uh, AP incendiary if you wanted to. Good against junk bots. But uh, yeah, it's a very very unique looking rifle. And I think it has three modes. Oh, look at that, that, uh, that sight. It's, uh, I think one times one magnification <laughs> from what I've seen. This is semi auto. This is full auto, I think. And uh, I think Anton said that he was going to add that feature where if you put a magazine in, it automatically uh, releases the bolt. But it's not here yet, as Meat Mist is obviously a busy time of year. I mean, when you get updates every day, yeah, it's pretty busy. Anyways, got that little uh, scope there. You also got the iron, the backup iron sights on the side. Not that friendly to left-handed users, but, you know, whatever, you just... Uh, you just gotta make do. I can't really see. I think I'm aimed correctly. Oh, did I not? Uh... There we go. And uh, it's actually pretty uh, light on the recoil, so... I mean, you don't want to fire it one-handed, but... One hand, the other hand supporting your firing hand is uh, pretty, pretty good. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Let's see if we can add something here. All right, let's see. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Let's try the triad suppressor. Of course, you can put one suppressor. Let's see how this sounds suppressed. Ooh, all those gases. So we got the suppressor on. Pretty cool. If you can put a suppressor on this, you can put the uh, attachments. So if you want a different scope, you can go for it. But there you go, the EM2. Pretty, again, unique looking. Some light on this thing. Unique looking uh, <laughs> rifle. Look at that. Wow. British, always making 
Guns. <laughs> They're making guns. <laughs> All right. Uh, day 17, if I remember correctly, is a pretty cool one. I think you saw it when I was looking at the uh, mag feds here. But the uh, MP203, completely fictional. Uh, it, it's pretty cool. And the magazine itself is pretty large as well. It won't fit in standard pouches. It'll fit there, so let's unlock that. Let's grab ourselves a sight. All right. Ooh, cool. And you know what? Since I use this one a lot, let's actually put uh, a suppressor on this. Hmm. Let's go with the true fire. Let's see how this sounds with a suppressor. All right. Firing 12 gauge belted, if I remember correctly. Let me just, uh, uh, we'll go, I guess we'll stick with Buckshot for now. All right, let's reset the target. Let's uh, put this thing on. Snaps on just like that. We got four modes to choose from. Safe, semi. Okay. Uh, three round burst, I think. There's uh, 24 rounds in this uh, helical magazine, 24 shells, so that's what it says on the, uh, it says six shells, oh no, eight shells, each tube, eight, 16, 24. So there's three tubes? Wait, does that say six or eight? I can't really tell. No, it's, it looks like eight. Or is it six? I'm too bad, I'm really bad at my math. Six, 12, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Is that four tubes or three tubes? I think it's three tubes. Yeah, it's three tubes. One, two, three. Right? If it's eight, then it's three. If it's six, it's four. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just uh, making uh, no sense here. I'm bad at math. Pay attention in school, kids. But, uh, so yeah, the last mode is full auto. Game kind of slowed down there for a reason, for some reason, but, uh, hold on. Am I shooting buckshot? Pretty sure I'm shooting buckshot. Oop. If you press up on the touchpad, you, uh... Empty out the, uh, the gun. Oh, let me just, uh, clean this area first. All right, so, actually, I think I might be a little too close... Go oh, 10 meters. Oop, nope, 10 meters, please. Let's see if this, uh... Oh, we're on full auto, right? Gotta release the, uh, bolt there. Huh. Oh, that's triple lot buckshot. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe that's the reason why it looks kind of different. Let's try flechette. See if this uh this will uh change the look. Oh have to release the bolt. Ah, uh, there we go. Tiny sharp needles flying at you at uh high speeds. There we go. Is that flechettes? That's what a flechettes are, right? But yeah, the uh, MP203. Just want to make sure, yep. Thank goodness it has its name on the side there, because I would probably forget. It's a very, very unique looking weapon as well. Down on the touchpad releases the magazine. That's probably the magazine release right there. Ambidextrous, wow, nice. On both sides. <laughs> But yeah, the MP203, that was day 17, I think. My math might be off. <laughs> uh, day 18, right? Which is uh, today's 
Okay, I think I remember this one because I just remember it, but uh, I've used it recently. But this is the... Hold on, let me see if it's in the right category here. I don't think so. Maybe a battle rifle. The Madsen LAR. Big old chonky, chonky gun. But, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh... I don't know what I can give uh, information about. Actually, you know what? I still need to watch the Forgotten Weapons about this. But let's just check out the uh, magazines they got here. 10 round. This is 20 round. And then we've got the 30 round mag. Oh, look at this. Gigantic. Okay. Let's uh, actually move this uh, reset target. Let's go to 3 meters. I'm not looking to shoot too far here, but, uh, it's, oops, that does not go, oh, it does, it does go there, okay. Let me actually see if there's any, well, this is 7.62, right, so, yeah, 51 millimeter NATO, so, obviously, completely forgot that I was using, uh, AP incendiary, actually, this one, I'll just do full metal jacket, this one will do tracer, Race rounds, and this one will do AP incendiary because why not? Oh, and you know what? I also need a couple of attachments. Let's grab ourselves a suppressor. Let's go with uh, let's go with the Mac 10, and uh, let's grab ourselves a rail adapter. Hmm. Rail extender tall. This thing will work, right? Well, sure, I guess. Hmm, maybe not. It's a little too short. It's probably a chunkier one here. I think this is the one. Oh, this is the one. Eh, it's a little bigger. You know what? Let's not put a scope on this thing for now. If you want to do that at home, you can. Uh, but, uh, yeah. All right. So, pull the bolt back. Cool. Big old charging handle there. Three positions. Safe, semi-auto, and fully automatic. Let's go with a uh, 10 round. 10 round, 10, 20, 30, right? Yeah. And let's go semi-auto. Okay, 10 rounds. There you go. Let's go with a 20 rounder. Let's put this on full auto. Okay, now 30, 30 rounds. Let's actually, let's go, uh, let's go, yeah, let's go 30, 30 meters. Set the target here. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think uh, somebody told me that you can actually do the AK reload on these things. And uh, I guess I wasn't doing it right. I'm not really too used to the whole AK reload. I just pull the magazine out. But, uh, yeah. So it turns out you can. You just need to have a little more force. I think what I was doing last time, I was just barely tapping it. I was barely tapping it. Oh, that seemed to work. I don't know. Maybe Anton fixed that. I have no idea. I didn't see a patch. Uh, 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 what's it called? Hot fix. So I don't know if uh, that was a thing, but it didn't seem to work for me because I was hitting that thing pretty hard. But I guess uh, it's a lot easier now. Maybe Anton did fix it for the uh, for the uh, item spawner edition, and that's cool. So you can do the AK reload. Which, uh, I don't want to do that. Let's just do that on an empty mag. Cool. Let's grab the suppressor and let's stick this baby on there. And then we'll do an AK. There we go. He needs a little more force.
the LAR, the Madsen LAR. Pretty cool. This thing is just massive. I don't know if it's... Uh, well, actually, some people were saying it might be a little too big. But uh, I don't know. I don't know the exact dimension, so you shouldn't ask me about that. I actually just want to check if there's any other interaction points. Nope, you can't do anything there. That's okay, though. It's uh, still... Still a cool looking gun. <laughs> Should take out the suppressor. It's a little too big now. Oh man. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should do a uh, high ready instead of low ready. Cause uh, whoops, the table's in the way. But if it's like this. Oh, I definitely know which weapon I'm going to get uh, when we check out tonight's gun, or the 19th, the 19th gun. And I am definitely going to go for this one. But I'll still bring, I'll, I'll still bring the Thunderer. But yeah, I'm definitely going to go for this, especially now that you can spawn lock magazines. <laughs> wow, this thing is, I still like, uh, you know what, if, even if it is inaccurate, the size of this gun, like some people are saying, I kind of want it to be this size because it's pretty, you know, I'm not going to lie, I kind of like the size. I really do. <laughs> wow. But yeah, that's the Madsen LAR. And that concludes today's Meet Miss Roundup. Guns you've already seen if you've watched uh, my other stuff, but uh, yeah, nowadays, like I said, today we get the uh, we get the ability to spawn lock the mags, and that's gonna be pretty fun. Man, this thing is huge. <laughs> Oop, there, some magazines out. Come on! Oh wait, no, you actually, uh, yeah, that's right. You actually have to be holding the gun now to do the uh, the. Uh, Come on. No. You're not gonna. There we go. Okay. But, uh, yeah. I think Anton changed that because people were. Like, the gun was getting caught on things and the magazine falling out. So you have to, you know. It's like, it has to be you. And it's a mag. I don't exactly remember the exact. Like, uh, specifics, but. It only happens when you do it. But, uh, yeah. Uh, all right. So, like I said, that's about it for today. I will see you guys in, what, like five or four hours? Hold on. And I just want to make sure. Yeah, five hours for Meet Miss Day 19. All right. See you guys next time.